let's take a closer look at the layers of the microsporangial wall, which consist of four distinct layers, the epidermis, endothecium, middle layers, and tapetum. Starting with the epidermis. This is the outermost layer consisting of a single layer of cells. Beneath that is the endothecium, which is also a single layer, but has cells thickened with walls of cellulose and sometimes lignin and pectin. Moving inwards, we encounter the middle layers, which are one to three layers thick. These layers eventually degenerate as the anther matures. The primary role of these three layers, epidermis, endothecium, and middle layers, is to protect the developing pollen and assist in the seasons, the opening of the anther, allowing pollen to be released when ready. The innermost layer, or the tapetum, plays a vital role in nourishing and developing the pollen grains. Tapetal cells are nutritive and produce specialized structures called eubish bodies, which help in forming the outer layer of the microspores. The last layer are the microspore mother cells, also known as pollen mother cells. These help in the process of pollen grain formation, also known as microsporogenesis. This will be covered in the next video, so stay tuned and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!